So chances are you probably click on this video because you're probably gonna hit a cut pretty soon by the time springtime comes or the summer comes. You're probably on a bulk or you're probably just coming off a bulk. So I'm gonna help you and make this cut a lot easier for you, all right? First thing you need to do is to make sure you're already tracking your calories. I can't stress how important it is to track your calories if you're not already doing it. It's gonna make your process a lot easier. And it's gonna be able to make sure you'll be able to know like where you, you stand at. You can't really know how much calories to get rid of or where your weight is gonna stand at if you're not tracking your calories. And you could even take it as far as tracking your macros as well. The most important one I would say to track is your protein. On that, everything else can just line up into place. But if you want to be the most efficient, most, most, most efficient, I suggest you track all of it. But especially, especially track your calories. And one thing you can do to track your calories is buy a food scale. You can buy one at Walmart. They're only like $12, it's over $14. Real easy. You got no excuses, so go get it now. What's up, guys? So on today's agenda, I'm going to have to, right now, I'm drinking off my coffee. And then I'm gonna, gonna have to go to work, and then after that, I have to do a Walmart run. And from there, I'm probably gonna edit videos and then probably continue with this vlog, to be honest with you. It's a little, uh, little quick tip, little life hack. If you're trying to like suppress your appetite a little bit, like let's say you're working long hours, you don't have time to eat, but you're usually the type of person that gets really hungry, caffeine, or Better yet, coffee, which is what I'm drinking right now, <laughs> helps a lot. Honestly, like I, I'm a big eater and I tend to get hungry. Usually I prefer to eat like every two hours, but coffee, if I drink at least like two cups of it, I will not be hungry for like a couple hours. I wanna say at max, probably for like a good five or six hours, I won't be hungry at all. I'll just get one breakfast in drink my coffee right after that and then boom I'm able to just focus on my work on my job and then keep going until I get my next meal which is after work and then that's it it's pretty cloudy today in Florida I was hoping it'd be more sunny but I can't wait for that soon soon once it starts being sunny then I can start you know wearing more comfortable clothes no more sweats none of that Surprising though, it's not as cold anymore in Florida. Not as too bad, so just waiting until it's like March and then, you know, start wearing shorts and going to the pool again. So that'd be fun. Reason I personally want to hit a cut is right now I'm currently 178. So the reason I want to do it, I want to see where I can get at. For now, I'm going to shoot for 165 probably 165 just to see what I look like. And if I'm happy and satisfied with the way my body comp is, the way my world, my body fat is at, then I'll just take that. If not, we can probably push it to 160. See how it looks. Look good for the pool. Look good, feel good. I'm, I vouch for that. Just like how like you need to always take care of your body. I mean, let's be honest. The point of a cut is to get shredded there's no other reason why you're doing it you're not gonna feel you might not feel your best and you're not gonna be at your strongest so you might as well do it to look good whether that's to impress other people or see what you're capable of that's on you but along with uh drinking coffee or any type of caffeine you guys want to make sure you're drinking enough water you gotta stay hydrated all the time all right guys so tip number two along with drinking coffee you gotta stay hydrated staying hydrated is gonna allow your body to function pretty well plus it's gonna probably boost your metabolism and then have everything working fine you want to be able to have enough water in your system so your body can you know, replenish it with nutrients and be able to move any electrolytes into your body. Because most of the time, if you're only drinking water and you don't have enough electrolytes in your body, you're not really hydrated. Most people don't know that, but you need electrolytes. So you need salt, you need you need that good sodium, you need magnesium, you need chloride, or like 
all those good stuff another thing too you want to substitute things to make you fuller so for example you want to be able to include some healthy fats like avocado or guac you want to include more protein into your diet so you know you could increase your the amount of chicken you're eating the amount of steak you're eating or the amount of beef me personally i would tell you don't eat don't go too crazy with the red meat but you want to stay towards leaner meat like chicken fish too fish can work as well you eat still eat your eggs still eat whole eggs egg whites are a good low calorie high in protein thing you can have but the only thing with it is like don't miss out on whole eggs just because there is a lot of nutrients that you could be getting from it that you could be missing on essential b vitamins any amino acids your body needs to repair itself repair all those tears all those weights you've been lifting you still want to grow you still want to find ways to grow also too we're staying hydrated it's gonna keep you fuller for a longer time so yes you might go to the bathroom a lot more but your body might you know your body isn't gonna be as hungry and the the gremlin hormone isn't gonna act act on your body as much also too take everything what i'm saying with a grain of salt only because it is based on your body's genetics i'm going to repeat that again it is based on your body's genetics there's there's times where you can be doing everything correctly and you could just still be hungry no matter what and that that's just part of the process it's nothing you can really do you just have to figure out what works for you whatever i'm telling you today is things that have worked for me this is not no nu official nutritional advice this is just something i would have give tips to if you were my friend i care about you guys so i want to see you guys do success be successful in your journey of like whatever you're trying to accomplish in the gym that's why i want to provide this that's why i'm doing this that's why i want to take the time out so i can see you guys be very successful in your journey and hear about it i want you guys to tell me in the comments let me know like hey what goals you guys are trying to reach what weight you're trying to reach what body fat percentage you guys want to reach like, let me know what's your what are your plans for this summer like how what are you guys plan on competing you guys you guys plan on reaching what kind of new milestone you guys want to plan on reaching you know what i'm saying here's another food item you could be doing you gotta add more vegetables fiber also but not just vegetable but fruits fibers fibers is another key component that's gonna keep you fuller besides just protein and fats like yes protein 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 all the way but don't neglect your fiber as well you know we still need a good digestive system we still need the body to proper to be functioning properly you still want those micronutrients so definitely intake uh, some fruits and vegetables me personally what I've been eating in terms of vegetables has been like broccoli or any of the mixed vegetables from Walmart another thing I've also been eating sometimes carrots too some other things I've also been eating too are bananas bananas are pretty good I like eating pineapple sometimes pineapples it's my favorite fruit but lately I think it has been banana banana is just easier to eat it's easier to get too and it doesn't cost that much which is why I've been buying it a lot. Plus, too, they last pretty long. I mean, you can just buy them in a pack. So, you know, can't beat that. Walmart, I think, has it like 58 cents per pound. Like, that's crazy. That's a no-brainer, and that's a great deal. So, if you're going to get bananas, get them at Walmart. Don't, don't get them at any gas station. Like, not knocking on it, but usually any like gas stations or any convenience store that sells fruits or sells bananas and in this case they overprice it you literally be will be paying three times the amount so for example if you go to wawa that currently at wawa if you buy a banana each one is like 75 cents mind you i just told you at walmart per pound of bananas is 58 cents that it's that is mind-blowing the price you're paying even though it's not much if you buy enough 
and do it enough times, it adds up. You literally will be paying for the amount of bananas you're getting at Walmart. Let's say you buy a pack like five or six. If you spend like at Walmart a dollar and fifty cents, you'll probably be paying at Wawa maybe around four dollars. That's insane, man. You don't want to be paying that much. Not all the time either. Like yes, the only times I ever buy bananas from those stores is if Walmart ran out, Walmart is closed, I don't have the time, and I'm literally buying the banana at right there out of the convenience of it. So just try your best to do your shopping. Try to buy, try to buy the healthy fats like guac. You can have peanut butter. That's fine. I, I wouldn't rely too much on peanut butter. I would rely more on healthier fats like guacamole or avocado. Have whole eggs. Drink plenty of water. And you can use caffeine as a as an appetite suppressant. I'm not saying you shouldn't eat, but if you have to go for a period of time of not eating, caffeine or coffee, whatever you decide to drink, will help you suppress your appetite just a tiny bit. All right, guys, so the third thing you want to do is cardio. You're going to have to find a way to, instead of cutting your calories, because you can only do so much in cutting your calories, so you're not feeling like crap all the time. You want to find a way to burn calories, and cardio will be your best friend. My best recommendation, based on your needs and goals, you can do anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes after your gym, after your uh, lifting session. I typically recommend, and my personal favorite to do, is usually the treadmill. Guys, so that cloudiness that uh, that was there earlier in the video, earlier today, ended up raining like crazy. I guess apparently we got a storm warning, and I just been at work all day. So when it came time to go to Walmart, I I didn't get soaking wet, but I pretty much got caught on caught in the rain. I didn't really care. I just went along with it. I laughed it off. Literally only got a couple things. Made sure I kind of parked like halfway in the parking lot, and then I was still able to get to Walmart, get all my things, and then make it back to the car. But on the bright side, there wasn't as many people. Although traffic was crazy. The fourth thing that you need to do in order to make your this cut, this upcoming cut a lot easier for you and something that you can smooth ride through is to uh, start avoiding lots of sugar now. Try to stay away from so many sweets, stuff that doesn't stick to your diet or stick to any like bad, any empty calories. Typically, you don't want to consume so much sugar to the point that you're gaining excess fat. It's just going to make it a lot harder and then you're going to put on a lot more fat than you were planning to. And then it's going to make your cut a lot harder. And you're probably going to have to cut your calories a lot more. It's just going to be a bad time. You're going to be you're going to be depriving yourself of food and you're going to be burning a lot more calories throughout this time. So you want to make this process as simple and as possible as you can so that way you stick you stick to your diet you adhere to your workout and you stick to the plan you have goals so you got to stick to it throughout the whole time also another thing too when you're in a bulk this is like kind of off topic but when you're in a bulk doesn't mean a lean bulk does not mean that you could just eat whatever you want typically what it means you go like about 200 to 300 calories above your maintenance you got you do a 200 300 calorie surplus above maintenance and that's it that should be enough to get you on a caloric surplus for you to put on some muscle you are gonna gain some type of fat so it's pretty normal once you do your cut is when the actual magic happens and you get to sculpt the body and you know get rid of some of the fat and actually be shredded so in conclusion you don't want to have a bad bulk to then lead it to, to a bad cut you want to make it simple and you want to make it as smooth as possible for yourself. The fifth thing you kind of want to do that a lot of you guys I know neglect is getting enough sleep. You want to get enough sleep so your body can function at its 100%. Your body's metabolism is not going to function at 100% and then you're going to be mad and questioning why the weight on the scale is not moving. I'm telling you guys now, get a minimum of 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Me personally, that's what I like to get. That's what I stay to. I function a little better on eight hours of sleep 
But if I have to, if I'm working more, or if I have to get a late night workout, I'll do seven, seven hours. But that's my bare minimum. Anything under that, I don't function as well, and my workout becomes sluggish. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you and see you guys on the next one. Peace.